show that the number attending the Ableton show first exceeds 10 times the number attending the Bush Creek show in the 25th year. Hmm. So do we just calculate 25th year? Okay, so how are we going to do this, right? What we're trying to show is that, this is what we're trying to prove. A, now, you've got to be careful, right? Because what is A? What is A? A is that um, partial sum, isn't it? It's the first year and the second year and the third year all the way up to the nth year, right? That's what AN is. Is that what the question is asking about? The question is, how do I know? How do I know that it's not really talking about A sub M? What clues in the question do I have that tell me they're clearly not talking about the total, they are actually only talking about the 25th year? What clues does the question give me? So first, there's the 10 times thing, yeah, like that, that magnitude, okay. Um, are there any other clues that I have? Yeah, Jeff. Yeah, okay, look, right, it says the number attending the show. Do you see it doesn't say anything about the totals over a number of years? It's just this conspicuous absence, right? We've kind of been in that mode because part A kind of thrust us in that direction. But if you read carefully, part B has nothing in the language of the question that suggests it's talking about totals. Okay? So therefore, I can't use this notation because I've already defined it in another way. Right? So you need to find it however you like. Maybe you just use a, um, like a lowercase or something like that. So this is, rather than the sum, this is for each individual year. Right? This works out to be a lot easier to calculate. In fact, we've already calculated it. How many people went to this show, this show, in the end year? It's on the board, people. Times what? Times 1.05. To the power of n minus 1. Very good. It's right there. You see? That was my last year. Okay? So this is like that recursive definition again. I want t of n, the nth term, not the whole thing. Okay? That's a sub n. I can work out lower case b sub n, which is? 5,000 times 0.95 times n minus 1. Okay, there you go. And because what they're asking is, I want it to be the first time at the 25th year, okay? It would seem pretty, like, standard. I just need to work out these two numbers, yeah? yeah. Do you agree with that? And I'm going to show that this is at least 10 times bigger than this. Would that be okay? No, no, no. no it's you need the 24th and the 26th. Uh, huh. So it's not a bad start. I should do this, okay? But do you notice, for instance, if this is true, then I could do this too. Okay? And this will also exceed 10 times the size, right? But just because it's true, that doesn't mean it's the first time. Actually, by this time, it's been happening for decades, right? So, what am I going to have to add to that? Can you yeah. Do like, can you do A25 and then do A24 as well? And be like, it doesn't look like 24. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's exactly, I think that's the quickest way. Now, so I'm going to work out this and work out this. I'm going to show it works. Then I'm going to work out this, and work out this, and show it doesn't, okay? Um, there are other ways you could do it, but I think this is actually the quickest way. You can go to inequalities, but it ends up being logs of logs, and it's, it's a disastrous mess, okay? So you're going to get a number here, number here, show that it works, number here, number here, and show that it's just shy. Like, you're, you're literally like 10 or 15 people off, I think, okay? Now, last question. Have a look at... Um, have a look at part C. This one's quick enough that I'm, I'm just going to skip over that. And we're going to do part C. It takes like one line. One line. Though I should say, it only takes one line because you've done so many lines already, right? Read the question. What's it asking? What's the ratio of the total number? See, there's that clue. Total, total. So now we're talking about our big A and big B, right? Um, the total number attending the Ableton show uh, over these 25 years to the total attending at the other one, right? So a ratio is just a fraction, right? What's the fraction going to be? Wait, the total number attending the show in that year? Total, read, the, read, read it. It says it's cumulative because it says total over these 25 years. Over rather than on. Right? So what we're going to say is our fraction that will give us our ratio. 
Yeah, it's going to be big A um, for what value? 25? 25. Right, that's the 25th year. Divided by B. B. 25. Okay. And this number is going to be bigger, right? So you're just going to get a whole number out of this, right? Not a whole number. Uh, nice number big. It's going to be bigger than one. It won't be like one to three or something like that. It won't be a third or a quarter. It's going to be bigger than one. Um, what are we going to crunch into this? Well, we have all the pieces already, don't we? Okay. Uh, where's A25? There it is. 100,000. 1. 1.05 to the 25 minus 1. And I have the same 100,000 here, but it's 1 minus 0.95 to the 25. Okay. So you've got the index notation there on your calculator. Uh, someone want to crunch a number for us. Three significant figures. There's my first two significant figures. Is there another one after that? Uh, zero, two, four. So I'm going to just go with zero. There's my third significant figure. And it's a significant zero because it's not just like zero, zero, zero forever. There's actually a number after this that's also significant, but I'm cutting it off. So that's three significant 